my name is Rajiv Kumar. People know me more as a Rajiv K. Singla here globally. I come from a very small town in India. I am working with Institutes for System Genetics, West China Hospital, China. This year, 39-year-old Rajiv became the first postdoctoral researcher at Sichuan University's West China Hospital to enter China through a talent visa. In 2019, after completing his PhD in natural product research at the University of Delhi in India, Rajiv visited China for the first time, marking the beginning of a meaningful journey that would traverse mountains and seas. China is it's a great nation. You come to know about any country only when you visit it. When I visit China in 2019, I see the growing potential and the tremendous uh, development this country has made. Uh, when I entered West China Hospital and uh, come to Institute for System Genetics, I found it's amazing. The work environment was good. People are very cooperative. This is how I found that it is a good opportunity for me to learn. The West China Hospital's Institutes for Systems Genetics, which Rajiv mentioned, is one of China's leading medical research centers. It focuses on molecular genetics of diseases and key molecular network research, bringing together top scientific talent from across China and around the world. Beyond the outstanding work environment and brilliant colleagues that drew Rajiv's admiration, what ultimately convinced him to join West China Hospital was a personal invitation from the renowned bioinformatics expert, Professor Shen Berong. When I met Professor Shen first time, I found him as a very good scientist. When I came to know like the kind of things he is doing, it was the same kind of research which I always wanted to do and he is exemplary in uh, like bioinformatics domain. Too much popular, everybody knows him like in bioinformatics domain here. This is the main reason I come all from India to China. So uh, Rajiv was the first in the country in the world. Rajiv is a very interesting student. He has been a very successful student in India. 呃，印度在天然产物和这个计算机领域是很有名的。拉吉夫有个很大的这个特点，他很善于合作。当时这个医院给了我三个名，我第一个就留给了他。Under Professor Shen's leadership, Rajiv joined an international team at the forefront of intelligent medicine in China. Together, they successfully secured multiple international collaboration projects, published numerous articles in prestigious international journals, and co-authored five academic books. With Professor Shin's mentorship, Rajiv also became a young scientist member of the European Society of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. Before uh, I joined here, most of the research ideas I was just uh, doing, thinking it by myself and then doing research and submitting it. But when I come here, we have an opportunity to have a weekly discussions, interactions, regular interactions with him. And he always uh, helped me to interact with many other people, even clinicians here. Apart from that, he is uh, ready to uh, like take new things because he is a multidisciplinary person. 大家知道，在十几年前，甚至二十年前，我们中国学生都是单向的流向国外，很少有外国的学仔到中国来。但是在近五年到十年，国际上发生一个大的趋势，就很多优秀的学仔向中国流向。大家看到了中国的机遇。你看，我们这儿有五六个这个外国的学生，呃，现在还有德国、西班牙的好多这个学生在申请我们的博士后。这个最根本的就是让他们在中国。As Professor Shen noted, in recent years, Sichuan University's West China Hospital has deepened its international exchanges and cooperation, successfully attracting many medical PhDs from around the world. At the same time, a growing number of international medical professionals have come to Chengdu to participate in advanced technology training, multidisciplinary discussions, and cultural exchange activities. These efforts are effectively building bridges for global medical collaboration and providing strong support for the advancement of medical science and technology worldwide. Well, West China Hospital is a well-renowned institute. It's uh, very famous for uh, being um, maybe number one research center in uh, China. It's uh, well known all over the world. They have a lot of research, they have a lot of publications that has impacted uh, the scientific uh, community all over the world. That they do laparoscopic and robotic surgery, that intrigued me a lot. And the numbers are massive. 
uh, they do a lot of surgery for hepatocellular carcinomas, they do a lot of surgeries for um, colorectal liver metastasis and they have very advanced. Uh, this training program is highly specialized for the minimally invasive uh, surgery in hepatic resections and as I've told you they are highly specialized in this part and I have a special interest in this field so this is a very integral part in my career and I do believe that this will be a good turning point uh, in my career life.